All right, guys, today we're going to build a jungle antenna. This antenna is based off of the military. It's based off of survivalist. It says we're based around survival, off-grid communications, and preparedness. I'm going to show you guys how to get this done. So 146.520 here at the top. That is my center frequency. That's the frequency that I want my SWRs to be the lowest at, okay? I'm going to take 234 and I'm going to divide it into 146.520. Now, if you have the off grid um, field reference guide, you have this formula at the very top. Right there. One fourth, a uh, quarter wave. <laughs> 234 slash or divide frequency in megahertz. That is your formula, guys, okay? Right there. You also have a quarter wave and the full wave. You just do the same thing I'm doing and plug in your frequencies. So here, we're doing 146.520. We're gonna take that formula, 234, divide it into 146.520, and come out with 1.59, okay? We want to turn that into inches. So let's times it by 12 and we'll come out with 19.16. Okay. Now that came out to be a little long for me. My SWRs were very high. So I started cutting off. And for me, I got down to 17 and a half. And my SWRs were 1.08. Okay. So you can't beat those numbers. I'll show you here in just a moment when we put it up that that's uh that's the SWRs for my build at 17 and a half for each leg. This antenna is going to have three legs. Today, we're only, I'm sorry, this antenna is going to have four legs, but today we're only going to use three legs. Okay, so what I mean by that is by the military standard and by most survivalists that I've, I've read, they use three radials, okay? and one radiating element here. Today, we only did two radials and one radiating, radiating element, okay? This little connector right here is off Amazon. I believe it's called a Cobra connector. Um, I'll have to double check and make sure I'm right, but you can get off Amazon for just a couple of bucks. It puts the antenna together pretty easy. And no, I didn't use eyes. Actually, I just stripped it back and put it straight through and, and just cheated. But hey, in the field, you're not always gonna have the luxury of the eyes. If you have the eyes, how are you gonna crimp them? You know, uh, you wanna waste time trying to crimp them or strip it and make it work like this right here. This is an improvised field antenna. It's called improvised because I'm building it in the field, okay? I'm making what I have work, so. We don't have eyes, we're not using eyes, and we're still gonna get the same, we're gonna get the same results at the end, guys, okay? So, this one is gonna be your radiating element. These are gonna be your uh, radials. Find you a stick, and we're gonna put one end, Let's see if I can get you a better view here. Okay, we're going to take one end of the leg. We're going to put it on this side and the other one on the other side. Okay, and I'll come back and I'll let y'all see that. Um, yeah, maybe a little more than that. I've got a daughter who lives in, in Etheridge. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it's at least probably 25 or 30. that Joe uh, I'm in uh, Spring Hill I'm not sure where you are but you're coming in uh, very well and just like that split the the limb at the edges shove your legs inside those splits you don't have to tie any fancy knots and it works perfect and it also works with two radios instead of three and hits repeaters 30 miles away. 
Stick with me, guys, and you can build it too.